Hi! Today we're going to learn how to use a Tula baby carrier. Our ergonomic carriers come in two sizes and can be used from birth and through toddlerhood. If you are using a Tula with a small baby, you'll want to use our infant insert accessory until your baby is about 15 pounds and big enough for his or her knees to bend at the knee and comfortably dangle down in the M position. The standard Tula is recommended from 15 pounds and the toddler Tula can be used starting when your child is about 32 inches tall and 25 pounds and until your child reaches about 50 pounds. There are a couple of things we must always keep in mind while using any carrier. The most important thing to remember for safety is to maintain an open airway. You want your baby to be high enough to kiss, visible at all times, and you should make sure that baby's chin is off his or her chest to ensure that baby's airway is not compromised and he or she can breathe safely. We are also going to make sure that our baby is well supported in an ergonomic position. I'll show you what that looks like once we have baby in the carrier. As you can see, the Tula ergonomic carrier includes a panel which will support your baby's weight with shoulder straps for each arm and a waist belt to go around your torso. Let's go ahead and get started with using our Tula carrier. First, we're going to secure the waist belt by fastening the buckle. The male buckle will need to be fed under the elastic on the waist belt and into the female buckle until it clicks. Then we will tighten the waist belt by pulling on the adjustable strap. Make sure that your waist belt is snug and flat against your waist and is nice and high near your natural waist, as well as centered on your body to prepare for the baby. Now you're ready to put baby in your carrier. Hold your child so he can wrap his legs around your waist. Use one arm to support your child while you use the other to lift the panel up behind your baby's back. While supporting your child with your arm, slip one arm into the strap. Now slip your second arm into the other strap, still supporting your baby. Make sure your child's bottom is resting in the seat of the panel and that your baby's weight is not on the waist belt. Reaching up and over your head carefully, buckle the chest belt behind your shoulders to adjust your child in the carrier. Adjust the carrier so that your child is comfortable and close to your body by pulling on the adjustable straps for a snug fit. Now you can see that baby is secured with their weight resting in the seat of the panel of the carrier with coverage from knee to knee and of course baby is visible, close enough to kiss and has his chin off of his chest so that he can breathe. Here are a couple of tips for optimal comfort in your Tula baby carrier. Although most users are most comfortable with the adjustable perfect fit straps as tight as they can go in the front, don't be afraid to play with the settings on your straps. There are buckles in the front of the strap and on the back of the strap. Moving these will adjust where the webbing and buckle rest in relation to your arm. These changes can make your carrier significantly more comfortable for your body. Also, in order to move the webbing easily, lift baby's weight with one hand and pull the webbing horizontally with the other hand. One last tip. If you can, slide the chest clip low into a strong capital H position on your back. It will distribute weight more comfortably on your torso. Keep in mind that when you put it on, you're attaching this buckle before tightening your arm straps. This means that after the arm webbing is tightened, the clip will actually be further down on your back from where you originally buckled it. We can use this same concept by loosening the underarm straps before unbuckling the chest clip when we remove baby. Let me show you how to loosen your carrier and you can see what I'm talking about. When it becomes time to reposition baby or to take him out, this is how to loosen your carrier. You will start by using your arm to support baby's weight, which will release tension on the straps. While supporting baby's weight in that arm, lift the bottom edge of the buckle gently upward to loosen the webbing. This will also allow you to reach the chest clip, which will have moved higher on your back. Supporting baby's weight, unclip the chest clip and carefully remove the shoulder straps one by one, maintaining a hand on your baby. That's how we use a Tula carrier.